Once we've confirmed battery voltage is above 12.4 volts, we can begin testing for battery voltage at the rectifier regulator. Set multimeter to volts DC. With the engine and key off, place the positive probe at the center terminal of the rectifier regulator. Place the negative probe at the rectifier regulator body. Surface corrosion may prevent a good connection, so you might need to scratch a bit with the test probe to get an accurate reading. The voltage at the rectifier regulator should be within 1 volt of battery voltage. A difference of more than 1 volt indicates excess voltage drop in the charging system circuit. Remember, this rectifier regulator requires battery voltage to function properly. If no voltage is measured, there's an open circuit between the rectifier regulator and the battery. Identify if the positive or negative circuit is open by moving the negative probe from the rectifier regulator body to the negative battery post. If no voltage is measured, this indicates the positive circuit is open. Confirm again by moving the positive probe from the center terminal of the rectifier regulator to the positive battery post. If voltage is now measured, this confirms the positive circuit is open. Depending on engine models, the charging system may be fused. This particular system is fused and the fuse happens to be blown. Replace the fuse and retest for battery voltage at the rectifier regulator. Don't forget to inspect for the cause of a blown fuse, which is more likely to be a short to ground than excess load on the charging system. 